This is the Abyssal Void, the final and hardest dungeon to ever release. And over the last 19 episodes, we've grinded Noob to Godly to finally reach this point. Will we succeed in beating this dungeon? Stick around to find out. Now ladies and gentlemen, before we even come close to attempting the Abyssal Void, we definitely have to trade for a sec, because no chance it's freaking Akuma Mage set is going to do anything. And yeah, I have a few things to trade, like this EIF and also this Legendary. So yeah, pretty much what I'm going to do is just immediately go and trade for gear. Like, I need stuff to do insane mode. But boys and girls, trust me when I say that this will be one of our best episodes yet. But yeah, we've literally already found a player who apparently has it. And yeah, you just said in the chat, my old set pretty trash. And honestly, while this is just insane gear with one nightmare thing, I will take it. So yeah, bro, just like take all of my Akuma, bro. And yeah, he did accept the trade, which is really, really nice. Dude, this set honestly looks crazy. Now, this set by no means will allow us to actually do nightmare. However, I think that if we get some good insane drops, we could trade for nightmare gear. But ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the map, you will see that we're in abyssal void. Man, the final dungeon of this series. And yeah, immediately checking our damage. Yo, we one-shot enemies. Okay, this is actually super good. However, we are, I think we're out of like glass cannon or something. So it won't be as easy. But yeah, that is super good that we one-shot insane enemies. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think we got a pretty good set. However, a lot of Abyssal Void gear has lost its value since more and more people are beating the dungeon. But well, bro, it is crazy that we finally reached this point. From Desert Temple through to Yokai Peak, and now Abyssal Void, and also you can see we're in this like mirror room. This dungeon is crazy. And yeah, this spell is really good as well because it has like a lot of range, which will allow me to hit enemies from afar. And yeah, you might have noticed that since the last episode, we've gained a lot of levels. And yeah, that's because I've been doing a lot of grinding. But trust me, the rules of the series are still here. I have to progress solo, and man, this will be tough. Getting the Nightmare will honestly be crazy. Because while Insane might seem easy, Nightmare is nothing to scoff at. But I'm doing about half to these guys, which is not nearly as much. However, this is definitely beatable. If I don't die too much, we 100% got this. Really, what I'm looking to do is get, like, the Void Warp spell or the Gravity Leap, which is pretty common. And I could use that to probably trade for, like, a good set of Nightmare Armor. But we are on the Exalted Queen's Guard. Which, yeah, I do, like, almost half of his health. That is insane. Yeah, this is, like, the easiest three cycle ever but we defeated the boss and we're moving on to the next section wait hold up no nope, there's these freaking enemies oh i hate when this happens but yeah boys we're gonna try to make it to nightmare in this episode we probably will be able to do it so stick around because this is about to be insane also yo yo no chance i just fell into the void hey we got the title hey, that was the purpose definitely definitely was deliberate but I'm not gonna lie, this is like one of my favorite dungeons in the entire game. Like, this dungeon is exceptionally good. I think the like parkour and just the themes of the dungeon are some of the best seen in the series. And especially the bonus boss, which y'all probably will see later in the video. He is just insane. Also, we got tactical reset. Hey, look at that. We're gonna spawn right there. But man, this is crazy. We're almost on Ty as well, which is super nice. Ty is like a very difficult boss, so we might struggle though. And speaking of Ty, here we are on the second boss who is by far the hardest in the entire dungeon. Yeah, you can also see like the dragon in the background from Gilded Styes. It is so crazy. And yeah, this dude literally hopped like a bunny, bro. What the frick is this? And also, we got super good RNG. It's not doing like it's super hard attack. Oh, wait, never mind. This is like the really, really difficult attack right here where you just have to like completely shimmy and just get destroyed by that attack. But yeah, this is free. And now a bunch more enemies respawn. So you definitely don't want to get caught on that. Honestly, getting like a teleport rotation spell which is the legendary spell for mage will be very good however nightmare bro if we can solo nightmare by this episode that will be a crazy achievement however i really just need to drop a gravity leap so i can get good nightmare gear but anyways we are on the final boss who is a literal dragon now i believe there is a cheese strap for like multiple people where if you stand like in this corner you won't die however uh we kind of need a healer for that i'm not gonna lie yeah one thing i'm really glad they did was decrease boss enemy health like bosses have literally no health in this dungeon it is freaking amazing and speaking of boss the boss has been defeated to get literal trash bro what is this stuff but regardless this will be a huge episode and also we can go and open this loot box 
which should give us something good. Let's see what we get. And uh, I guess we got a cosmetic. It's not great, but hey, I'll take it. You know, it's not bad. Chat, low key, this is not really that trippy. I'm gonna be honest. But something else that will allow us to get nightmare gear are rings. And the perfect thing is, is that we're here in tier five, seeing if we can beat it. We've never beaten it before, so will we be able to do it? Yeah, I believe Hella is the easier boss, so this shouldn't be too, too difficult. However, I haven't even beaten it on my main. But yeah, will we be able to do this? This will actually be my first completion of uh, tier five. Yo, yo, we also ate that so hard. Our damage is super, super good, though. And also, we died. No, that's not good. Yeah, I really gotta lock in. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. She does a lot of damage to me. However, I really do a lot of damage to her. And also, we got stunned. Yo, the stun is stupid. Bro, what is that? That stun is insane. And we just completely lost. Bro, are you kidding me? Well, I guess we're just gonna be doing more insane. Yeah, to be honest, I'm gonna alternate between runs to really ensure that I get enough stuff to trade. Because I know that a lot of you guys will say that this set could do Nightmare. However, bro, I am not that skilled at the dungeon. Also, low-key, this dungeon is quite team-based. Like, you, you definitely need a team to do this dungeon. But that quickly, bro, we literally speedrun this dungeon, bro. I feel like I'm actually cracked. I guess that's what one-shotting the enemies do. I'll probably be humbled in Nightmare. But already on the first boss, who is definitely like a free boss. Honestly, this boss is so easy. Literally, we could just like quickly destroy the boss. And also, I really love this parkour. Just like jumping down. It really engages you with the dungeon. And the music as well is pretty goaded. However, one thing about the music is it's literally copyright. And I wish I would have known that because like my stream got completely demonetized. It's all right. Uh, you know, a fire song is a fire song. We just like walk down the staircase. It is so nice. But one other thing that's really good about this episode is we do not have to get any level ups. Yeah, we're literally already high enough to do everything in this dungeon. Whether it be get like the legendary, play nightmare, all of that stuff we can currently do. So really what we can do is just focus on getting gear, which is really what we're trying to do. So we can eventually solo nightmare mode. But anyways, we're back on tie. Yeah, really this boss is easy if you actually do a lot of damage. If you don't do a lot of damage, however, this boss will screw you. Because Ty's like mid-phase attack, this one right here is very, very brutal to dodge. And the square attack right here, which literally forces you to run in like a straight line and you just get destroyed. But it's really nice just being able to completely one-cycle enemies. Yeah, one or two cycling enemies make such a big difference in dungeon. But well, we're back on the final boss. And yeah, we can just completely defeat it. Yeah, just like that, it should just die. Yeah, but that's free. And we got freaking, bro, we literally got trash. However, I guess we can claim this. Now, one other huge thing about this update is if you go over to here, you will notice that there is actually a battle pass that we can buy. Which, yeah, literally works for like two weeks. Now, this is 12,000 platinum, so I literally can't afford it. However, if we can, we'll definitely go and buy this because this literally gives us like an extra item. But anyways, we're back on Hella. Really, I wish we could do this. Like, I really gotta lock in. This is not even too hard. Like, I do so much damage. I mean, this is literally soloable with Yokai Peak stuff. So I can't, if I literally can't do it with Nightmare Gear, bro, that would be embarrassing. But yeah, I, I think we got this. Low key, I think we got this. We did about half of her health and we literally haven't died once. That is so good. But this is, oh, oh no, no, bro, I got stuck. That is so brutal. And I think we would have died anyways. Yo, this is free. This is free. This is literally free. I just cannot be selling anymore. Dodge that attack. Dodge that attack. Come on, one shot. Literally like one shot. One cycle. No, no, bro. Oh my gosh. No. Just one, like literally just one more hit and I got it. One hit. Uh, no, literally just like 39 Q more. Bro, let me hit it. Let me hit the boss. Oh my gosh. Dude, if I, if I lose this, this will be so brutal. Dude, I actually can't hit the boss. I actually can't hit the boss. Okay, well, we finally got it, bro. And also, we got a bunch of titles and literal trash. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie. Things are looking somewhat hopeless. So, all I'm gonna do is try to attempt Nightmare with the gear we currently have. While it probably won't be doable, I'm gonna attempt it. Man, let's see if we can pull off a Nightmare run. I think potentially, potentially we could. Like, if we really, really lock in, I think we could do this. 
dude, if we could get nightmare consistent, get nightmare gear, that would be insane. Getting like nightmare mage armor. Yeah, yeah, our damage is actually solid, but oh, we die so quickly. Yeah, it's hard because we are glass cannon, so literally everything one shots us. But if I play it slow and carefully, I think I got it. Low key, just if I play super precautionate, I think I can do it. Like do hit and run attacks. I think that will really be my best strat. Because whenever we die, we lose 10 seconds, which is super brutal. Yeah, what's super great about mage is it hits all of the enemies. Like this attack has so much range. But yeah, we're on the next section with not great time, if I'm being honest. But yeah, we can just go over here, immediately hit the enemies and dodge out. If I can just get one more hit in before I die. Yep, there we go. That That's pretty solid. My damage is very good, but in exchange, my health is very bad. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is just charge up my ability before using EIF. I think that would be solid. However, I can't really hear it because I'm about to die. I'm about to die. But we're locked in. Okay, well, we're not locked in. But anyways, we're on the first boss. And this is a pretty terrible run, if I'm being honest. Yeah, this... Bro, this is not even winnable. I've died so many times. I'm just gonna skip to when we get back here. And we're on the Queen's Guard with two... We are, like, over 30 seconds ahead of last game. Yeah, boys, I'm not gonna lie. It took a long time, but we are on a very, very good run right now. Yeah, bro, I cannot be selling it right now. These enemies are so difficult as well. Like, these are some of the most difficult enemies, bro. Like, honestly, the way these attack are so freaking brutal. But yeah, we defeated the boss and honestly, I did not do well on that boss But if we lock in for these next enemies, I think we could win this Yeah, boys, this run is like half decent and half terrible Yeah, really, I only need to be dying once on these sections Like, I cannot be dying more than one time But dude, these enemies are honestly just so difficult to fight And these three guys as well are even harder yeah, unless I do, like, perfectly on the next mob groups, I'm completely screwed. Like, there is zero chance I win unless I do well. And I am just not even doing well at all. Yeah, it's not even worth continuing this run. We are completely screwed. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is up my HP to, like, 15 billion or something like that. Because, bro, this is not working whatsoever. But yeah, let's do Nightmare again and hopefully not get screwed. Yeah, an effective method I've learned for this first group is to only target the middle at the start. Like, when you do your first attack, just hit the middle. Because you'll avoid aggroing all of the other very difficult enemies. Yeah, you can see, like, it is pretty free if you just do that strat. And then I would ideally go and target, like, the right group, and then just back out, because you've given yourself the space to back out with killing the middle group. And yeah, you can see we're, like, literally on zero deaths with this method. And then we just go on to the final group. Yeah, this method is, like, the most reliable method to do it. This is definitely how you do it. Really, what you want to do is give yourself as much space as possible. And look at that, literally zero deaths on the first group. But again, what I like to do is just jump down run through all of the enemies uh, i don't know if this is a good method but i try it but now what you kind of allow yourself to do is like give yourself the space to go in and fight these enemies and really if you have the space you cannot die on the mobs space is the biggest thing with enemies by far but we're on the next group and again do the same method go and give yourself the space but yeah we should spawn the boss by now i think if i hit that enemy we'll have spawned it which is both good and bad yeah the boss is here really just take out the enemies first because the enemies will completely screw you even with space it literally doesn't matter they just completely destroy you but really without enemies this boss is quite easy besides that attack that attack is just complete bs and it's really undodgeable. Yeah, the attack acts too fast for you to really do anything. I completely hate that attack. That attack is garbage. But this group, I absolutely hate this group. This group is tough. Yeah, there's this part. It's just annoying. Yeah, really, I think going glass cannon would have been the strat. Because, like, the enemies literally just, like, one-shot you regardless. If you get hit once, you're screwed. Yeah, as a solo, this dungeon is complete BS. Like, I'ma be honest. None of the attacks are fair. They just do, like, stuff like this. But this time, literally, I could probably never win with this time. This time is complete trash. Yeah, going glass cannon honestly probably is the strat. But if we can make it to the final boss, that will at least be something decent. 
Hey, well, at least we made it to tie, but yeah, there's zero chance we're doing Nightmare. Like, we need a better set. And yeah, we literally didn't even beat Ty. But at least what we can do is go do our final round of Tier 5. Man, hopefully I do get something good. Yeah, my damage isn't as high, but I actually will survive some hits. Although, to be fair, if I get stunned, I'm completely screwed anyways. Yeah, honestly, like, Tier 5 is completely nothing when you get Abyssal Void stuff. It is not even a challenge. I think that Hella is probably the easier boss raid. I think Goliath is just kind of stupid. But yeah, Hella honestly is reasonably fair. Yeah, really trying to solo Abyssal Void is like such a nightmare. I don't even think it's worth it to put any health, because if you get hit once, you're pretty much screwed. Like, you will get stacked on so hard, and it is just quite annoying. But yeah, I think this should be the kill, and honestly, with more health, like, I did not even die once. But yeah, that's GG's, and we got, uh, literal, oh my, wow, that is trash. But I think we can go and claim this chest, so maybe we'll get something good. And we got three pieces of literal trash. We got luck, but I don't need it. And yeah, speaking of luck, we literally have like 56 hours along with 51 hours of boost. There truly is like no purpose of not going glass kin in abyssal void. Like the attacks will hit you and it is just so brutal. But yeah, here I can just one shot enemies so it's not too difficult. Yeah, I may try nightmare again just to see if we can maybe get a good run now that we're actually glass cannon. But I highly, highly doubt it. Our HP is pretty low though, so it should be a little bit easier. Honestly, like I am just so excited to get like nightmare consistent. Once we're consistent at nightmare, it'll be so easy. We will legit like have the ultimate full purple set. It'll be free. But we're on the exalted queen's guard, who is so much easier on insane. Yeah, one shotting the enemies is super nice. But honestly, like, just give me gravity leap this run. And I keep- Bro, that attack is so stupid. I hate that attack so much. But we can go and claim a quest, which is defeat nine abyssal void bosses. A well, low-key, we speedrunning this stuff. Like, honestly, insane is so easy. Really, for, like, this section or any of the other ones, I have absolutely no idea what to do. Maybe run through the enemies? I guess that kind of works, eh? Although, there are a lot more enemies in Nightmare. And yeah, I just get pulled in anyway, so it don't even matter. Yeah, Nightmare is just stupid difficult. But hey, we got to tie while dying as well, which is nice, because we got a literal reset right here. Instead of walking that entire mile, we could just reset. Honestly, I am just hoping for Gravity Leap or something of that nature. But really, I will not do Nightmare until we get, like, a new spell, which we'll probably be trading for after this. But yeah, destroying these enemies should allow us to get to the final boss. And also, I just noticed, but that symbol right there is literally like the Gilded Sky symbol. Yo, that is such a cool Easter egg. But really, Insane is super easy, and Nightmare is super hard. But anyways, that's GG's. And since I just realized that we're actually using the Nightmare spell, I think instead what I'm gonna try to do is get like a tiny set to at least allow us to do it. Because I do actually have like these blue mage Akumas, which I'll probably use. So I guess I'll cut to when I get it. And we're back with a full set of Eltric Mage Armor. Now, I did trade my entire thing, but the helmet is really trash. However, the armor is really what carries. Yeah, I traded literally all of my Akumas. But honestly, I'm probably gonna put just a few points into stamina just to get our health just a little bit high. So yeah, I'll do like 7 billion and then put the rest into spell power. But man, this should honestly allow us to do Nightmare. If I just hold down this spell and then immediately use it on these enemies, I can do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, this is actually like a very, very easy two-shot. Yeah, if I play my cards right, we could definitely win this. Yeah, I'm really glad that I went and, like, did this episode later, because no chance I would have got this gear from before. Bro, like, a single piece of armor would have cost me, like, all of my sets. But now Abyssal Void gear is starting to lose a lot of value. Yeah, if we can't win with this, I don't think we're winning, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This episode, though, I think we got it. But really, this section is what is brutal, bro. However, I am actually doing relatively decent. Yeah, honestly, I expected there to be a lot more enemies. But again, what we can do here is just go quick hit and run strats to make it very easy. And yeah, we literally just got no deaths on that part. That is solid. Really, I think the best strat is running through the enemies if you don't have space to dodge. And also, the boss spawned, but bro, I did not take out enough enemies. This is gonna be very difficult. I really gotta take out the enemies before doing the boss. 
I don't even know what literally spawns this dude. Yeah, I'm gonna try standing, like, super close to the boss so he doesn't do his, like, one-shot BS move. Yeah, there's one move that he does which is so annoying to play against. Yeah, but it's that move right there. That move right there. Luckily, I died before he did it, so I didn't get hit by it, because I know for a fact I would have died there. But anyways, we got the boss with relatively decent time. I don't know if this is winnable, but we are doing somewhat decent. We could go in, just immediately take out the enemies and die, because there's really not much you can do there. Also, what happens for Nightmare is that, or really any difficulty, the enemies won't actually aggro you if you uh, recently died. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. You have to actually hit the enemies for them to aggro you, which is something that can be utilized to an extent. But we're definitely not doing horrible. It's just not, we're not doing great as well. Really, for these sections, I've just accepted the reality that death is pretty much guaranteed. Like, there is not much of a way to dodge this part. Yeah, this section especially, like, there is, like, no way to dodge this. This is just free for the enemies. We're doing not necessarily terrible. It is still winnable. I wonder, will we be able to win Nightmare? Yeah, if we can do, like, 630 on final boss or second boss, that would actually be somewhat solid. Yeah, I guess 620 isn't too bad as well. This is still definitely winnable. If I don't sell on the third boss, I think we got this. Because really, this boss, like, I probably just die once on the very, very difficult attack. And that's really about it. This attack right here, I mean, it's pretty much a guaranteed death. There is not much you can do to dodge it. But literally, just one more shot. I think this is free. I really don't think I'm going to be dying again. Well, we're on the final group of mobs with four minutes left. Not a great time. And we just, yeah, easily die there because it's just free for the enemies. Truly, this dungeon is the killer of hope, bro. It is just so... It's impossible, really. To do a no-hit soul of this dungeon is not even really possible. But anyways, we're on the final boss with three minutes, which isn't great time, but it may still be beatable. If we really, really lock in, I'm not gonna lie. This has to be the biggest lock-in ever. And low-key, we are doing decent. Well, I say that and we die. But hey, I think we could do this. I really do. Despite this absolutely terrible run, I think it's still possible. And boys, I'm not gonna lie. I think this might be GG's. Yeah, the boss is gonna take a lot of damage. And yeah, literally one shot. This is GG's, bro. And just like that, we beat the dungeon. To get- Yo, we got- Yo, that's a solid drop. Yo, that is really, really good. A Grey Voidborn Mage Helm. Yo, that is exactly what we need. Bro, that is legitimately the best thing I could have ever gotten. If I upgrade that, that is going to do so much more damage. Yeah, this is a 4-3. The thing that I just dropped is literally a 5-5-9. That, oh my gosh, bro. That literally makes my set so powerful. Man, we are nightmare consistent. But ladies and gentlemen, I have episode 21 on the screen for you guys. So definitely go check it out because I think you'll probably like it. And for now, I'll see you guys later.